Uh, you mentioned, you know, your rookie quarterback, Aiden, played really well down the stretch. Eight touchdowns, no interceptions in those last four games. Do you think he showed enough that he, he could be a successful starter in this league? Well, I think he already, he already has. I mean, there's been a lot of quarterback changes in the National Football League. And guys, are some, some teams on the third and fourth quarterback. <clears throat> and I think for Aiden, what you've seen is a, as, a, as a kid be very poised, more vocal. I thought last night was huge. You know, had a little injury there, a little something going on with his hand. Fought through it for an entire drive. Try to come back out and do it. Okay, maybe he can't go. We make a decision to take him back in the locker room. And he comes back out and he looks him dead in the eyes like, I'm ready. Okay, you got to tell him to go ahead and go out there. That confidence that you got to have as a coach to look in your player's eyes and know that like he's really ready and not just saying it because that's the cool thing to do, um, That that's special. The Las Vegas Raiders are in one of the most interesting spots going into the NFL draft season. And there is a lot of different windows and doors opening up for them depending on what they want to do. Obviously, you have a guy in Aiden O'Connell, you bring in a guy in Gardner Minshew, but there's also some quarterbacks out there that could fit perfectly with what the Raiders are trying to do not only now, but in the future as well, right? To start, you have Michael Penix, a guy who is, you know, very realistic, could definitely be the Raiders' next quarterback. You talk about accuracy, you talk about um, the speed that people didn't really know about, and then you have a guy in Jaden Daniels, who is a little bit more unrealistic, but also would be the most dynamic player to, you know, come over here and play as a day one quarterback for the Raiders and change everything, the culture, the scheme fit, I mean, Jane Daniels would be the perfect fit, right? However, that's a little bit more unrealistic. But in this video, I want to break down, you know, my two or three biggest options for the Raiders at quarterback. One being Aiden O'Connell. I think a lot of people sleep on his talent, what he showcased during his rookie year, the improvements he made. But also, I think Michael Penix. If they're able to land a guy like Michael Penix, and I think they're starting to do, you know, a lot more research and, you know, study on what he could do and what he can be. I think Michael Penix could be a dog, but also Gardner Minshew is slept on as well. However, I think the top of the top, if you're able to trade up for Jaden Daniels, if and only if the commanders don't take him at two and the Patriots don't want him, I think you go out and take him. But in this video, we're going to break down some film and I'm going to show you guys exactly why, you know, you should not be nervous about who the next quarterback is going to be. The Raiders are in really good hands and man, they are in a good position to absolutely destroy this year's NFL draft. Before we get into the video, comment down below who do you think will be the day one starter for the Raiders at the quarterback position and grade their offseason so far. They bring in Alexander Madison as a backup running back, losing Josh Jacobs. They signed Christian Wilkins, the best player in free agency. Obviously, Gardner Minshew and Harrison Bryant as well. Still a lot of work to do, but let me know what you guys think of the offseason so far and what are the biggest positions of need for the Raiders going forward. Let's jump right into the video. Now, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I have the utmost confidence in Aiden O'Connell. I mean, when you look at what he's done from, you know, his first game starting into his last game starting, the development has been insane. Now, on this play specifically, we're going to get a deep, deep comeback route here um, from this wide receiver. Now, what to notice here is the pocket presence, the awareness, and the ability to just stay calm in the pocket. You know, a lot of quarterbacks in this day, in this era, like to feel the pressure and they will just go. They will go for no reason, get about two or three yards, and then go to the next play, right? Aiden O'Connell does a good job noticing Pockets relatively clean, you know, you can step up here and be protected for another second or two, right? So boom, we got a the deep, deep comeback. Watch how he throws with anticipation. This is something you need to see at your quarterbacks before he even breaks his route. The, the football is way out of his hands, right? I mean, watch when the football leaves his hand and watch where uh, the wide receiver is. So boom, steps up in the pocket. Boom, football is coming out now. The wide receiver is not even breaking his route yet. Again, throwing with anticipation is a skill of its own, right? Boom, throws the ball right when the wide receiver turns around, gets to the outside shoulder. Boom, it's right on the money. Great catch, right? But this is an even better throw. I love to see this out of young quarterbacks. And you talk about the awareness in the pocket, right? Just step in here, feel comfortable, feel safe, and throw a dot at the same time. This is really, really good football. And we have Aiden O'Connell doing this. I have so much confidence and belief that he could be a good quarterback at the end of the day. 
Now, another reason I like Aiden O'Connell is he is actually extremely, you know, aware, good IQ player. On this play specifically, we're going to see, you know, kind of like this, uh, this inside dig row here. Deep safety, you cannot overthrow this football, right? Now, first thing we notice here is we're clearing out the middle of the field. We want this deep middle, deep left open, right? So, boom, we see this guy crossing, and right away, our guy right here has a step on the defender. So he reacts really, really quickly, notices what the defense is in, and knows where he can attack the field. And the whole time on this play, he is reading this safety, okay? You see him right here, just looking at the safety, making sure this guy is gonna stay put and doesn't actually come up, step up, and, and uh, guard this man here. So boom, never does he, does he uh, you know, budge here, looks at the safety the whole time, notices he can throw that in there, beautiful throw i think he does a really good job you know reading defenses at the next level now at the end of the day i believe in Aiden o'connell i think he can develop to a really really good you know quarterback in the nfl i think sometimes he makes some mistakes not even big mistakes but ju just in terms of you know missing a receiver or not being confident enough to throw a ball right now this play specifically i'm not really you know coming at him I'm not saying this is a bad play because he still gets completion and still actually makes a good read right so right away what do we see here boom all right what do we notice drop backs in the pocket we get this right here stumbling db wide receiver with top notch speed going down the left side right we have one deep safety look which means he's either going to step up or drop back to this deep route on this side of the field you got a crosser which should be open right because we have just this man-to-man -man coverage if you if we get some uh, separation here boom I think if you throw this football, you know, maybe uh, pinpoint to the left side of the field near the sideline, this could be a touchdown, right? So, boom, reads a safety and actually does a really good job here, right? I think he could have the, the, the uh, confidence to make this throw. I think he should, right? But at the end of the day, what we do see here is Aiden O'Connell is looking at him, right? Forcing the safety to, whoa, boom, let's, let's go, let's go. Got to chase, got to chase, got to chase. When in reality, what he does here is open up this a little bit more um, than it may have could have or may have been, right? So boom, throws over the middle, gets his guy in stride, um, maybe a little bit behind him, but ends up getting a nice little first down there. I think he's really good, but I think there is some development that needs to be done, which, you know, is obvious. But there are other quarterbacks as well, like Michael Penix. Let's watch some Michael Penix film. Now, when you watch Michael Penix play, actually, before we dive into Michael Penix film, trust me, you guys are going to want to see this, by the way, because I think this could be the quarterback for the Raiders next season. Now, before we get into the, the, this part, make sure you guys do me a big favor, hit the like button just so we can get this video out to more Raiders fans, but also subscribe to the channel if you're new, join the family, it is free, doesn't cost anything, and I'm telling you guys right now, non-stop Raiders videos from here to the draft and then draft we're going to cover the entire draft class we're going to cover everything so make sure you guys join the family subscribe if you're new but man this dude michael Penix, is a different breed now right away we're going to notice his ability to make guys miss in the pocket so boom we get edge pressure here and we get pressure up the middle from the tackle boom let's get outside too quick nimble on his feet but then makes a play a left-handed throw over the middle of the field i know he's left-handed by the way uh so don't get me wrong but i think what he does is just beautiful boom drop back we got you no know, a blitz coming up here by the defense now we got one-on-one -on -one coverage over here with some deep safety help so this has to be pinpointed right if you you know slightly miss throw this ball you, this is going to be intercepted but boom absolute dot guys we're talking about a guy, Michael Penix, who has probably the best accuracy in this draft. You're talking about a guy who not only can make any throw, has great strength for a quarterback, you know, arm power, but also has 4-5 speed, right? Talk about a guy who, yes, has injury issues or had injury issues, but has spent the last two seasons completely healthy. If he can get a clear from the training staff, he would be a top two pick in this year's NFL draft, and I'm not just saying that right Jaden Daniels don't get me wrong I think could be a really good quarterback doesn't really have the injury scare is a little bit slim but man if Michael Penix has stayed healthy for the majority of his career this man would be a top two quarterback in the draft and that is not a lie look at this throw here throwing with anticipation in a tight window again you little room for error on a throw like that gets a touchdown gets it to go I mean when you just turn on this guy's film you won't see too many bad throws, right? Boom. Look at that dot. I mean, you can't make this up. Let me actually slow it down for you guys. Right? Over the shoulder. Beautiful. Lands right in his right in his arms, right? Now, in the NFL, 
DBs tend to turn their head a little bit more. But look at this placement, dude. Look at this placement. You can't make that up. You really can't make that up. It's insane. The throws that this dude is making. Um, again, drops back in the pocket. Pressure coming up the middle. Let me step up. Good pocket presence. Good awareness, right? Steps up. Trying to make a play. And now, I mean, I guess that was a little, little uh, you know, past the line of scrimmage there. But you know what? Hey, sometimes you get away with those things. Drops back. Steps up using his own lineman as protection here. Rolls out to the left side. I mean, man, he can make anything happen, right? He can run. He can pass. He doesn't really run too much. But, you know what? His 4-5 speed says he can do it. But there's also the fact that maybe they go out and keep Gardner Minshew as... Or or maybe, you know, battle him and in, in Ann O'Connell in, in uh, you know, training camp. Is that a possibility? Maybe. But when you ask me, I mean, look at that throw. When you ask me, guys, the Raiders have the possibility, the chance, the opportunity with the doors open to either go up there and get a Jaden Daniels. They have an opportunity to allow Aiden O'Connell to be your number one guy and maybe take a tackle or, or an offensive lineman with your uh, number one draft pick, right? Or you can go up there and draft Michael Penix. Now, what do you guys think is the best decision? What do you guys think is, you know, when you look at it, who do you think would fit better? best as a starting quarterback while also building for the future but at the same time keeping you competitive for now and the future as well what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below subscribe if you knew i was going to break down a little bit of gardner Minshew film but at the end of the day i think there's two possibilities i think aiden o'connell is your day one starter or they draft someone to compete with aiden o'connell i think gardner Minshew will probably be one of the best backups in the nfl um i do believe that if you draft a michael Penix. I think Aiden O'Connell might get the day one start, but Michael Penix could steal that by by the end of the season or week eight, right? Um, but man, they are in really good position right now to do whatever they want in this year's NFL draft. And if I'm the Raiders, if I'm Antonio Pierce, I'm doing whatever I can to try to trade up for Jaden Daniels if he's there at three. But if he's not there at three, I'm locking in on Michael Penix and I'm saying, Michael Penix, listen, we know you've you, you dealt with some injuries, but if you can stay healthy, you are the biggest steal of this year's NFL Draft. So let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.